The weekend has arrived, and we've and got baseball from Progressive Field in Cleveland. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Chicago White Sox and the Cleveland Indians. It's Indians baseball, and it comes your way next. Corey Kluber, a right-hander from Alabama, gets the starting assignment. What do you have for us on MH? Well, Matt, his last outing was curious to me. That's the word I'll use as curious because if you go five innings, you get that five and bail, right? Well, he went five innings, but then he got the loss. He just wasn't able to go further. I think he's got to give them a little more distance and be able to execute his pitches early Nine on a little bit better in this game. Third baseman, Steve Cook. Here's the first pitch to him. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Harold, we check out the tribe as they begin here tonight. They come in trying to rebound after a loss that snapped a modest three-game winning streak. Matt, this has been one of those up-and-down teams. They lost the last game, putting them at 500. Everybody wants to play above 500 baseball. Maybe they'll be motivated by that alone. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is James Kingsley. Yeah, James Kingsley, solid umpire and pretty universally appreciated around the game. Basically, he's not a guy you're ever dreading to see behind the plate. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Now a moment here to check out the White Sox starting lineup. Who stands out to you, Danny? You know, Corey Dickerson is the guy that's looking to turn it around right now. Over the last 10 games, he's only hit one home run. And as a guy that hits in the middle order, they're expecting a lot more from him than just one bomb. The power just hasn't been there over this stretch. And is the second baseman, Jason Kipnis. And there you see the numbers second over his last eight contests. Jason. He's really been leading the charge for this team. Hey, push it one now. The wind up and the 0 1. Grounded to third. Oh, what a stop! The throw. It's there and he's out. They call it the hot corner for a reason. And this is a beauty to take us to break. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Digging in for his second at bat. Steve Cook. 0 for 1 Steve for him here in this one. Cook. Sinker oh, runs outside to start boy. the at bat. 1 and 0. The White Sox are still looking to break into the hit column here. Here's a 1 0 cutter that's low, 2 0. Hey, see it and rip it up there. Here comes the 2 0 pitch. Hit back up the middle. Lindor has it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Indians one and the White Sox nothing. Ready once again. 
Third Steve and number Cook. 13. He comes in 0 for Steve 2 thus far. Cook. Throw over to first. Oh, a hit. dive, but he's back. Hey, one pitch right here. Come on now. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have hey, outstanding control to go along with it. Go. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Now the 0 1. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. It's the first game of the road trip, and, and it takes a little, a little bit to get an adjustment. Time. You're not used to being that team that goes to the plate first to start the game after you've been home for a long homestand. But they need to get comfortable now, in the or they're going to get blown out of this game. And this one gets away. And forget about the double play now, as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Come on, baby. See you drive it. Hit hard back up the middle, taken in by Kipnis, and he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Digging in to try it again. Baseman, Steve 13. Cook, no Steve hits in three tries try. so far. No he struck out once. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and he rockets this one down the left field line. And this will find the wall now over near the 325 sign. The runner from second crosses the plate. But no, he puts on the brakes and will head back to first. Well, I love the perseverance. Comes down to late in the game. He ends up getting the base hit to drive in the run. No, he hadn't had any hits the whole game. So that was a big at bat for him to battle. Riding in once again, Corey Dickerson. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. One run, six hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. And this is swung on and missed, and boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Wow, that's awfully impressive right there. The pitch before was really close called the ball what does he do he comes back with a better pitch and gets the punch out here's Paul Goldschmidt now lifetime Perfect. against Number Andrew 24. Miller four for 14 Paul he's Goldschmidt. taken him deep once hey, clutch up. Your turn right here. he's set here's the 2 2 on the ground up the middle reined in he'll go to the bag for one relay to first in time and just like that this side is retired White Sox pick up just the one home half of the eighth straight ahead Cleveland's out in front four to one well in hindsight it was the right choice to let the setup guy stay in the game and finish this thing I wasn't so sure before, but the results sure speak for themselves. Tonight's game comes to an end. Five to one, the final score. Corey Kluber takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. The Carlos Radon was tonight. only able to work four innings as he Cleveland takes the Indy. loss. Five run. Now from downtown Cleveland, MLB Network brings you baseball from Progressive Field. Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the Chicago White Sox and the Cleveland Indians. It's baseball on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Danny Salazar, a right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, his last outing, Matt, he pitched into the sixth inning, but he just couldn't get out of it. Ran out of gas. I think early on he's strong in games, but in this particular ball game, what am I looking for? Can he get past the sixth and maybe carry this game through and get a W? Batting third, third base. Striding in, Steve, Steve Cook. Cook. He drove in his club's only run a night hey, ago. See you trying to right back to the pitcher, huh, now? From the belt, the pitch. Swung on and missed for the first strike. 
Harold this Indians ball club as they begin play here this afternoon. They're on a nice little run. Winners of four of their last five ball games. Yeah, man. I mean, it's been a pretty good homestand. They're three and one right now. They're playing good baseball, but that four and one really kind of separates them. That's why today's game's important. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Sent on the ground out to second. Kipnis is there. The second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Bottom of the first, straight ahead. We're scoreless on MLB Network. Digging in now, Jan Gomes. The average for him entering play sits down in the 250s. The wind up and the 0 1. Grounder down the line at third. Oh, what a stop. He gathers the throw. Got him. Ready for another chance. Baseman, Steve 13. Cook comes Steve into this at bat 0 for Cook. 1 in the ball game. Into the windup and the pitch. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low scoring affairs. And here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's 2 0 now. 2 0 count and the pitch. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Ready with another 2-2. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Lonnie Chisenhall will stand right in. Fielder, He's one for nine. two in the ball game. Lonnie Chisenhall. Here's a one here. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Hit on the ground to third. He's right there. Throw in time and the side is retired. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Third base Steve number 13. Cook. 0 for 2 Steve on his line thus far. Cook. Yeah, you can do it. No one bet. Let's go. Here we go, one time, like a big dog. First offering on its way. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Tell you what, his spot has been the outside pitch right there. And now we're late in the game, and he continues to pound the outside pitch. And it's really working out for him. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, a swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Out of here to the deepest part of the yard. Two run shot to straightaway center. Eighth home run on the season for him. And the White Sox have cut the deficit to three to two now. It's almost a shame because he was pitching a gem today at least until he served up this two run shot just goes to show one pitch one swing is all it takes to change a pitcher's entire day. Trying to pick things up where we left off have Steve Third Cook. Baseman. Steve Cook. A big moment here we go.
Hit down the third baseline. Ramirez is there. Kipnis. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. We'll see Carlos Santana when we come back. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Indians lead it 4-2. to two. Well, just an excellent job right here closing this one out. He just collected the first save of his career. Got to start somewhere. A one-run finish, 4-3, to three, the final tally today. Danny Salazar takes the win on the mound, his second of the, the year. So the that's a wrap for game. this afternoon well, for Harold. We're set for Sunday afternoon baseball from Progressive Field in downtown Cleveland. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the Chicago White Sox and the Cleveland Indians. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Trevor Bauer will do the pitching in game three of the series. HR, what's the word on him? Well, Matt, when I look at his pitching line, the thing I look at is his whip. He's just below league average, so he's not allowing a lot of traffic on the base pass, and he's keeping his team in the game. If he gets a big break early on, he may run away with it, hold on to the lead, and Not win this third. game. Third baseman. Steve Ready now. Cook. Steve Cook. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Hey, get a good one up there, huh? Drilled right back up the middle, and that gets through for a one-out base hit. Well, that's a tough one right there. If that ball's at somebody, probably a double play. But as a result, it's one of those seeing-eye singles just found the hole. Digging in, Corey Dickerson. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. The 0 1 pitch. On the ground is short. This could be two. There's one. Oh. On to first, and he really paid the price at second base, but it's a double play, and the inning is over. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. White Sox nothing. Indians coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Now at the plate. Steve third base Cook. number 13. See it Steve up there. Cook. Before the first pitch, a check at first. And a dive, but he's back in there. Here comes the first pitch. And this one's in the dirt. And no advance. It's ball one. Now a swing and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. Foul. Pitch only, huh? He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Bat splinters as this is on the ground to first base. He will go to shortstop covering and they do get the force at second. That was not an easy play. On to first but not in time as he beats it out. Digging in, Corey Dickerson. Now for one here in the early game. Corey Dickerson. Right guy, right spot. Come on now, kid. Lifted the other way out to left center. Brantley is under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting uh, outfielder, right Young Soo Kim. A base hit in his first trip. Kim. He's set. Here's the 3-1. Nope, and there. this ball misses ball. for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs, and now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Next to bat will be the Cuban import, Yon Moncada. Two second on, two baseman. out for him here in the third. Two down, runners at first and second. 
Come on, big guy. Get your pitch right here. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Cook rounds third and is digging for the plate. And to score, the runner from second, Kim, is on his way home. And a relay home. And not in time as the second run scores. Usually a hitter will shorten his swing with two outs, but not this guy. He puts a big charge into this one and drives in a couple of runs along the way. That can be frustrating as a pitcher when you had a guy on the ropes and you couldn't finish him off, especially when he drives in runs. So here's Francisco Lindor now. And remember, he hit that two-run homer his first time up. Francisco Lindor. Hey, let's go right here. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. To third. Right. To second for one. On to Goldschmidt, but too late as they'll just get the one. And that play is indicative of how their entire season has gone so far. They make the routine plays difficult, and if there's a tough play, they really struggle with it. They need to tighten up their... Here's Carlos Santana now. The He's 0 for 1 thus far. 41. Carlos Santana. Here we go now. Let's go. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball. Cook is up with it. Throw on to first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Digging in the switch now hitter, batting. Abraham the Almonte. 0 for 1 for him Abraham. here in this one. Almonte. A 2-2 two and two count. Here's the pitch. Line drive to left. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. Well, there's a little two-out base hit. Maybe start a little two-out rally. Now, he's giving up some runs. He's a little vulnerable. We've seen him give up runs already in this game. So maybe this is a start of something big. Digging in once again, baseman, Steve 15. Cook. A hit Steve. in two tries hey, so Steve, far. Big dog. Here we go. Hey. 90 feet anyway, kid. Here we go. Now we'll step off and fire to the bag. Runner back safely. And another snap throw to the bag. And the runner back safely. Get a good rip on it, huh? In no. tight at 93, ball one. That pitch right there. He's trying to keep him from getting his arms extended. If it's out right, over the plate more, One he time. can obviously do a lot of damage with it. The 1 0 delivery. And this is going to be a foul ball. Hey, let's go, big fella. Now a snap move over hey. to first. And he'll be back in standing up. Drive that pitch now, eh? Here you go. Let it fly out right here. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And they pitch one. out here, but nothing's going on. They let it rip up there. Let's go. Hitters count now. Here's the 2-1. and one. Left side. Ramirez showing off his range. The second for one. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Stepping up now, Corey Dickerson. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Runner at first here with one away in a 2 2 ball game. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Hey, one time, right now. Ready for another shot now. Hyun Soo Kim. He reached on a walk in his last time up and later came around to score. 0 oh, and 2 count. Here's the pitch. Now a bunt attempt here. Only play to first, so the sacrifice works that time. 
Now that's a gold glove caliber play there. You got that right, Matt. There is a lot of moving parts on that barehanded play, and it is a thing of beauty when everything comes together just like it did. You can bet he'll be watching this one again after the game. Now with the plate, Johan Moncada. He doubled earlier and carries a two-for-two two line baseman. into this appearance. Let it fly. Let's go. Trust your stuff right here. Let it fly. Wait for your pitch up there. Ready huh? with the nothing in one pitch. Takes this the other way to right. A dive, but he can't come up with it in right as it skips right past him. And the runner from third crosses the plate. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's four to two. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Now to the plate, Steve Third baseman, Cook. number 13, Steve Cook. Into the windup and the pitch. In front of the change up there as this is chopped foul at home plate. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Got a big pass at a slider that gets past him. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out front before it breaks all the way in. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Infield single, as innocent as it may sound, that might be a rally starter right there. At the plate, Corey Dickerson. Oh, right He's 0 for 2 with a walk Not thus far. Either. Corey Dickerson. Hey, get you a good one up there, huh? The 1 and 2 pitch. Rip down the line. A dive, but he can't make the play, and it's down the left field line. And the throw in from Brantley will not be in time. He's in there at third base. Well, third baseman did everything he could on that ball. That ball was just scorched right past him. He laid out, got dirty. I thought for a second he was going to have it. It just couldn't come up with it. Striding into the box. Hyunsu Kim. He successfully shot. laid down a sack bunt in his last plate appearance. Kim. One and two. Here it comes. Now this is on the ground to first. We'll see if they can get two. There's one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So after the three spot last time around, he's able to bounce back and hang a zero here. The five, six, and seven slots do up in the bottom of inning number six. It's the White Sox five and the Indians two. So digging right in here. now, here Steve base, number Cook. A couple of singles Steve for him in four trips for Cook. him this afternoon. Let her fly. Pump me up right here. That's now a fastball to start things out. Didn't miss by a lot, but it's 1-0. This is a critical point right here. Things are in danger of getting away from him a little, so we'll see how he deals with it. one -oh count. Here it is. Pitch come out. On. Nothing doing. Hey, come on, big guy. Five runs, right ten hits. One error thus far for the White Sox. Hey, clutch up right here. Clutch up. Yeah. Called a strike on the inside part of the plate. Two and one. Here you go. Hey, right guy, He's right place. And the two one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Escobar is in pursuit. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. And a big RBI there as the run scores to make this a two-run game now. Hey, every team is looking for that insurance run late in the game. That run right there gives them a two-run lead heading into the late innings. So striding in, Steve Cook. 
He hits here in a spot where he might be 13. able to put this one out Steve of reach. Cook. Yeah, Matt, down five. Another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Yeah, like, yeah, Mentally, yeah. they might still feel like they've got a shot if they can get out of this jam, though. Hey, let it fly. Wait for a good one. First delivery to him on the way. In the dirt and blocked behind the plate. No movement on base. It's ball one. Hey, you pitch. Try the deep huh? Here you go. The one and zero delivery. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Naquin looks up. Gone. It's a grand slam. So one swing, and he unloads the bases on that one. Home run number nine on the year as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Yeah, you've got to feel really sorry for the pitcher. He was up against the ropes, bases loaded with the power hitter at the plate. The best thing you could do in that situation is to try to keep him from making well, in hindsight, it was the right choice to let the setup guy stay in the game and finish this thing. I wasn't so sure before, but the results sure speak for themselves. to four is the way this one ends the White Sox with a big 17 hit attack Joe Ross earns the win his second Corey Knebel works two full innings in relief to record the save his third of the campaign so that'll just about do it for us this afternoon thanks to Harold Reynolds Time and Dan Plesak and the rest of our crew I'm Matt Vaskersian this has been a presentation of